and hey, uh, YouTube, it's a pretty crazy man here. Uh, today I'm going to show you something a little bit different. Um, it, it's going to be some. It's going to be about a. Well, it, it's sort of making a program another application, but it's not, not going to be for iPhone. It's going to be for um the Mac computer. So, and today we're going to actually make like a um web browser so let's open Xcode delete that because I did that one as a test run okay so open Xcode okay so Apple yeah Xcode um, file new project I'm gonna do it application Cocoa application in the Mac OS X file I'm gonna call it computer Crazy, crazy man web browser. Okay. Okay, if I spelled web browser wrong. Okay, let's make this big. Okay, we got this. Now we're going to go in the resources and we're going to go main window XIB. Minimize that. Okay, we're going to need it as big as possible. So we'll get rid of inspector. Okay, because we don't need it, and we're going to get rid of this because this is just like your menu about and what it is, and we're not going to use that. So we're just going to get rid of that and um, going to make this small. Okay, I'm going to get minimize that. Now we're going to bring this over because you know how web browsers are seriously big. Well, we're going to make this as seriously big as possible. Okay, now let's bring this back up. Okay, so first of all, let's get a push button. Okay? I'm gonna go shift backwards arrow. Make this smaller. I'm gonna go Apple C, Apple V. Bring this. I'm gonna make this go the other way. Then Apple C, Apple V. And this one's gonna be reload. R E A L O A D. Oh, wait, how? Re L O A D. Yeah, reload. Okay, um, now we're going to have to find a text box, so we'll find text box, where are we, text, 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 yep, um, text, text, oh damn, I can't see a thing, oh there we go, text field, I'm going to drag this up here, and we're going to make this in line with each other, make this seriously long, but not too long. Okay, so I'm gonna make this long. Oh wait, no, this one's actually a text different type of field. Looking for the other text field. Hang on, there we go. Up here somewhere. There we go. Text field. Normal text field. Oops. Not label. Okay, so let's do this and make it as seriously big as possible. We'll make it to about there because then we're gonna add buttons here. Okay, so now that that is done, we'll go up here and we'll go for find the buttons again. And where are we? Push button. We're going to make this go here. Okay, I'm going to call this plus. Whoops, plus. I'm going to make that up there. And this button here. Whoops. Actually, we'll just apple seed that and apple V it. I'm going to make that a minus one. Okay, so that's plus and minus. And you'll see why I made these two buttons in a second. I'm going to push button. We're going to call it print. P-R-I-N-T. Um, and then over here, we're going to go restore. Restore. Um, font. Font size okay and um, I'll just shift click these and bring them over to here and if we want to we just make this a bit smaller has to be big though okay now you want to type in filter and go web and find web view You'll click and drag this onto here. Now let's close this because this is when we don't need the library anymore. I'll 
and click and drag this to fill the entire page okay the entire page okay okay so this is now we're going to go control so click on the back button go to control and go go back this go forward one and then make that go forward this and this one means reload so we'll find the reload button this now this has to be says take string from URL that's what it has to be now restore font size would be make text standard size oops uh, whoops, control, um, and this means make text larger, and this one means make text smaller, and this for the print button would be print, of course. So if I'm print and print. Okay, so unfortunately I'm not connected to the internet, but first of all we'll save it, and then we will um, quit Interface Builder, and we'll go into Xcode. We'll go save and um, I'll just pause. Okay, so we can go to the internet. Okay, um, I accidentally pressed stop recording instead of pause, so you may see a bit of a jump. Okay, so now what um, we've got to do is I'll just have to pause it for a second. Okay, so I've got my internet connected, as you can see, four bars. Now with our web browser we're going to go build and run. You can see the loading bar down here and we'll open, open it, computer crazy man web browsers we've been building. So let's open, wait for this to open because it's its first time it might take a while. As you can see we had a little tiny error but that's not too much of a bigger deal. Okay, looks like it's been doing a problem where it would not work. Okay, sorry about that. Let's build and run again. Okay, let's see if she works. Nah, doesn't look like she's going to work. I don't know why. But there must be something wrong with Xcode. But um, that's basically how to make a web browser. So yeah. Okay. So that's this has been a computer crazy man tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed it. And um, yeah.